Hello, this is Ethan's dad. And you're looking at Ethan. And this is Ethan's shrunken head. So we 3D scanned Ethan with the EM3D app on our iPhones, and we 3D printed him. And look how tiny it is. It's basically the size of his ear. So when you export your model from EM3D, it comes out full scale, life size. Well, life size Ethan isn't going to fit on the 3D printer. What we need is knickknack size shrunken head Ethan. That'll fit nicely on the mantle over the fireplace. So a full size Ethan is 100%. What percentage do we need to scale him down to get shrunken head Ethan? Do you have a guess? Is it A, 1%, B, 5%, or C, 25%? Do you have your answer? It's 25%. What? That's not intuitive at all. I can see that you're skeptical. Well, I can prove it. So here's a square. It's two dimensional for now, but it's eight meters on the Y axis and eight meters on the X axis. So let's say we want to shrink it down to the size of the blue square. Well, it's pretty obvious that that blue square is 25% of the total volume. So your intuition says you want to scale it down to 25%. But look at the size of the square there. It goes halfway across on the x-axis. Well, that's 50%. And same on the y-axis. So if we scale it down 50%, we get 25% of the total volume. And if we scale it down again to 25%, this is what we get. And here's a better look. And here's what it looks like in 3D. Full-size Ethan, 100%. Knick-knack, shrunken head Ethan at 25%. Well, this looks familiar and final proof. This presentation has been brought to you by Ethan's dad. Thank you, Ethan.